es un arte, no es, no es un florclor, es un arte que nuestras abuelas nos, nos ha bendecido, nos ha dejado una herencia y esa herencia lo tenemos que conservar. Farmers are accepted. Their question is when exactly will the branding system start? Economic and social development through intellectual property and product branding. It's the aim of this World Intellectual Property Organization project in Uganda, Panama and Thailand. As a country, we're looking at what we can market. Does this product have a market internationally, regional or internationally? What is its potential to, to, to compete or even to develop? Uganda has decided to adopt branding and intellectual property tools to make agricultural products more competitive. Sesame, a local variety in the North Nile zone that has the highest oil content in the world at 72%. Makono Vanilla, recognized as having the highest vanillin content in the world. And cotton, the second most important export crop in the country, generating income for two and a half million people. Ugandan cotton lint is even, naturally white, and is used as a blend to improve inferior quality cotton. Aluma Gad, a farmer in the North Nile zone, who plants cotton on his 22 acres, is eager for the Ugandan cotton to become a brand. We have been hearing some of the countries, uh, those are the farmers who are, which their, their crops are planted, they have good advantage. And it is good for a consumer to know where the product comes from. I think that's very encouraging. By further building the reputation and goodwill around that brand, you will not only retain the customers that you have, you'll also create new customers, you know. Price is a function of demand. As demand increases, the uh, price of Ugandan cotton would increase. In Panama, three products, three communities, three different realities. Coffee from Palmyra. Small producers have already created a collective mark, Café de Palmyra. WIPO is now supporting the development of an appellation of origin. Pineapples of La Chorrera, the best in the country. The creation of the collective mark, La Piña de La Chorrera, will mark a turning point for the farmers and the mollas of the Kuna people. Although some foreign entrepreneurs are making good business out of this ancient art form, the community isn't reaping the benefits. Quieren vender molas como nosotros. Quien sale perjudicado, los productores, porque ellos quieren vender barato. Y nosotros sí sabemos lo que es, lo que vale la mola, la tela y el trabajo, el gasto de la vista. A certification mark developed with WIPO's support will safeguard this ancestral form of knowledge. For the consumer, it's a guarantee of authenticity. For the community, a strategic tool that adds market value to their most prized product. A thread linking the producer and the consumer. Si hemos logrado, sin tener una marca de garantía, casos, hemos ganado casos, imagínense, con una marca de garantía podemos lograr más cosas, no solamente a nivel nacional, sino a nivel internacional. Thailand, three handicrafts and intellectual property tools to boost creativity and competitiveness on the global market. ต้องมองว่าในเรื่องของการแข่งขันทางการค้าระหว่างนี้ในโลกเนี่ยสินค้าในแต่ละท้องที่มันอาจจะเหมือนกันแต่สิ่งที่แตกต่างที่มันเป
and Lampoon silk brocade. In the old days, this cloth was so precious that the weavers enjoyed the patronage of the ruling classes. Today, the craft faces many challenges as it's sold at much less than its real worth. โครงการแบรนดิ้งก็เลยหวังว่าถ้าเราสามารถยกระดับมูลค่าของสินค้าของทั้งสามชุมชนนี้ขึ้นมาได้ในระดับที่ที่เขาพอจะเลี้ยง